Yeah, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. And guess what I'm going to make again today? Another chicken. Well, I got a new cooker to play with, so I'm actually going to cook this on the pit barrel. I got a pit barrel junior uh, smoker not too long ago, about a week ago, and I promised I would make a couple videos with it because I want to try it out. I've heard a lot about this cooker. I've never used one, and I've heard a lot of good things about them. I heard they're fantastic on chicken. So what I'm going to do for this one, you know, I know I usually sous vide stuff and, and then use the barbecue, but today I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just go ahead and dry brine this for a little bit, and then we're going to throw it on the Pit Barrel Junior cooker to see how this turns out. All right, guys, I got my uh, <clears throat> whole Costco chicken out of the package, rinsed it off, got all the guts and stuff out of it. And what I'm going to do with this cook today, I, I'm going to go ahead and keep it whole and just hang it. Uh, so I'm going to put this, um, my my basic poultry rub, which I'll put, a, um, put the ingredients down below. It's pretty much kosher salt, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, some Italian seasoning, and that's about it. Just some savory stuff. I like it. I like the paprika. Makes it gives it a nice color, and of course the salt's gonna, you know, brine it some. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna dry brine this for about an hour and a half or so in the refrigerator with the with the uh, rub on it, and then we're going to go ahead and put it on the hanger, throw it in the pit barrel cooker, and see how this thing turns out. So follow along with me, guys. And I'll be right back. Waiting for that chicken to brine for a little bit before I throw it on. I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you what the Pit Barrel Junior looks like here. And if you're not familiar with the Pit Barrel Cooker, uh, I'll leave a link down below. This here is the Junior model. The regular full-size one is, I think, um, 32 or 36 inch barrel. This one's a 14 inch barrel. So this one's just a little bit smaller and it's Kind of like the uh, portable camper, bring it to your um, campground, bring it um, tailgating with you, kind of size. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty basic, comes with the horseshoe handles. It's got a little stand on the bottom there, holding it up off of the uh, ground. And it's just a barrel. It's got some uh, welded on spaces in there for your grate. It does have a grate that goes in it. And there's not a whole lot of messing around with as far as vents go. It's got that little vent on the bottom that you just set it once and uh, leave it alone. It goes by your altitude um, that you're, you know, have it at. So you just leave it there and it's going to, you know, the temp self controls. So it's got these little holes here for some rebar uh, rods that I'm going to show you in a second. This here is the lid that goes on top, and it's got a little horseshoe handle on that as well. Comes with these rebar type rods, and they slide right into these holes here. As you can see, this is what you hang your meat from. Your turkeys and chickens and ribs and pork butt actually hang from these rods, and you get with this junior model you get six of these hooks to hook into your meat and they hang right on this rod I think with the full size one you get eight eight of these hooks and you can buy more if you need them I'm going to be using this this is the turkey slash chicken uh, hanging rod where this uh, is going to go through the chicken since we're going to do it whole and it's going to hang on the rod this is the ash um, charcoal bu bucket basket from the bottom and um, the way you light these is pretty particular and make sure you read the instructions when you get uh, if you buy one of these make sure you follow the instructions they also have videos on their website as well and then that's it. Um, it takes just a couple minutes after that to get everything up and running and then you put your lid on and just let it cook and then um, it just goes. You don't have to worry about adjusting the temperature, any vents or anything like that. This is the grate that comes with it. So you can use it um, with smaller items like chicken wings, pretty much anything you want to put on a grate to smoke with. 
you can use it as a grill you can just leave the top off and let it get hot and just you know you can grill stuff on the hot open flame so I'm gonna go ahead and in a minute I'm gonna get this thing started and going but um, just thought I'd show you that and the way we're gonna light the fire starter today or the chimney is we're gonna take some of these fire starters light them up and then just put the chimney right over it let the uh, coals get up right about 12 minutes we're gonna put the basket in the bottom put some pecan wood and we're gonna dump the hot coals right on top let that go for a couple minutes and we're gonna put our chicken in so all right guys well that's it like I said I'm real excited about this pit barrel cooker and hopefully we can use it on a few more of our different cooks I'll even try it with some sous vide stuff down the road so all right I'll be back ready and I'm getting ready to throw this on and I'm not going to throw it I'm going to hang it I'm going to hang this on the pit barrel junior so I got my chicken turkey hanger here and this kind of slides right in to kind of hang on to the rack this goes right up the chicken's gullet so I'm going to have to slide this up and this is going to kind of hold the chicken in place so this is how that's going to work. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back of this one more time with some of the rub. It's got a little spot here in the back. And then we're just going to go hang this up. That's 165. So I think we're about done. I think I'm okay with 165 in the breast. As the dark meat's closer to the fire. So I think I'm going to pull it. All right, all it's done. Got it out of the uh, pit barrel cooker. And it is pretty good looking here. Lots of color to it, that's for sure. If you can't see that, looks like the uh, breast got pretty crispy there. I'm going to go ahead and cut this open. Looks like it got a really good crispy skin. See that leg? It's really crispy looking. And it is done all the way through. That is for sure. Get the other leg off. That's some pretty crispy skin there get you guys up close to it so you can see see how crispy the skin is on the legs there I'm gonna go ahead cut into that wing get that off so I can cut into this breast it's gonna give you whoop, skin's coming off that is done that's for sure falling apart that's tender not quite as juicy as when I mm, make it sous vide but it's pretty juicy compared to other barbecue cooks I've done so I guess now what I'm gonna have to do is cook one of these sous vide and then finish it up on the pit barrel cooker see how that turns out as you can tell guys it's it's juice is coming out of all over the place here so it's pretty juicy it's got a really good crust on it really good skin and I'm gonna cut this up for dinner now but um, I said I can really tell when you when you taste the chicken you know, the breast if it's not really dried out then you did a good job so but so far, I'm really impressed with this pit barrel cooker. I think I'm going to probably do a turkey on it for Thanksgiving here soon. So, 
check it out guys check out the pit barrel cooker on their website below check out the recipe for the, the rub that I use and make sure you like this video follow us on Facebook on our group and our page follow us on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video